So Sukru is a group for dancers to come out and perform together to learn different styles. I am very big in teaching kids in my hip hop classes the fundamentals. Um, So there's a whole bunch of different styles that are under this umbrella of hip hop. And I'm a big fan of teaching the basics of things like popping and locking, breaking house, um, and a couple other styles. So my goal is to just continue that education for the kids and to also get other artists to come out from different areas to teach the kids too so they can have a feel of those different styles and kind of just create this group of dancers that can be ready to audition maybe for music videos in the future or if they go out of Sioux City and go to these bigger cities that they can kind of get a feel of different styles and what they need to do. Could you teach anyone to do hip hop? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think anybody that wants to try it definitely can. Um, Obviously, there's some rhythm and strengthening that needs to go on and happen. But I think that if you want to, you can do anything if you want to try it. (laughs) And and for the Sioux crew, do they have like a, is there a certain age, a demographic that you're looking for? So I'm trying to do just like an age. 8 to 18. Obviously, if they're turning 7 and 8, I'm not going to be too picky with that uh, because I know that my son is turning 8 this year. So um, just as long as they're ready to sit and be focused and try their best, that's all we want. And you're looking for just kids throughout the whole city. Anyone's welcome. Yeah, I've been invited. Yeah, I've invited kids from other areas to Cherokee, Lamar's. um, So just anybody that would want to maybe travel a little bit to come to these workshops and to come to auditions and be part of the group. And you have workshops that are starting pretty soon. Yeah. So I technically have already started with Beyond the Bell um, after school program here. They invited me over to teach their kids. So I had that last week and this week. And then we're starting next week on the 19th and 20th with Sioux City Community Theater. And then the following week we'll be at Jensen Performing Arts Center. And then we have some more in July. And do you have a limit of how many kids that you want to be part of the crew? I think it's open because, you know, in my head, I figure, well, depending on how many people, maybe we'll do a couple different ones. Maybe we can combine them together. So it's all kind of up in the air for now. And what do you like about hip hop? Because I'm assuming that if you're teaching hip hop, you've um, performed hip hop throughout the years. Yeah, I have. Um, I love the energy. I always feel like when you sit down and watch different styles, I mean, I'm a fan of many different styles. I teach many different styles of dance, but I think... The energy of hip hop is what I really love because it's exciting. It's fun. It's, you know, you sit there and it makes you want to dance. So my daughter does dance. And what I've noticed going to some of her competitions, it seems like people aren't doing tap as much as they are doing hip hop now. It seems like that's kind of more the trend of where dance seems to be going. I don't know if that's something that you noticed at all. Yeah, I kind of have um, going to competitions here in this area. I've noticed that myself. Um, I feel like Lyrical, contemporary, and jazz are really big, and that's kind of a reason why I want to do this, because I haven't seen hip-hop as much. It doesn't seem to be as big, you know, similar to tap. I've seen very little tap, um, like you've mentioned as well. So just trying to get people more educated in this. I don't think a lot of people understand that hip-hop itself isn't just a dance. It's a culture thing. It started in the 1970s. You know, there's a history to it. There's certain moves that have names. There's DJing and graffiti and emceeing and this own special music that people have done really for a long time. And so there's so many different styles that can just come into this umbrella. And just getting people that education is a big dream of mine. Do you have a certain style of um, of Hip hop that you like to do? That I like to do. Like, are you doing like some of the break dancing or? I try. Yeah, I try to do the break dancing. I know I'm getting a little older and the body isn't as as it used to after children, but um, I I think break dancing is really fun. I like to get on the floor and do certain things, and there's obviously stuff that you can do standing up and moving around. But I think it's fun because I feel strong when I do it. Like if I can get down on the floor and get on my hands, so a lot of obviously a lot of upper body strength. But I also think that it's super fun to watch. Like if you see really good b-boys and b-girls it's just so exciting to watch and you see people of all different sizes all different races getting together and doing hip-hop like i said it's a big cultural thing there's so much history that has gone into it from the west coast to the east coast to the midwest um you know different big cities like la and bronx and chicago so you can get those culture aspects of it and kind of see where certain movements came from So soon, Sioux City will have its very own style. Yes, yes, I'm hoping so. You know, everybody, I think what's so fun about hip hop dance is that everybody has their own specific style. Even when I teach certain things, 
you know, I have my own certain style to it. When the kids start performing, they can add their own little flair as long as it's looking similar. And it's, I think that's exciting. I think that's fun to kind of show your own individuality.